What's up guys, it's Tweedo here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on 2D motion tracking. I'm going to be using Boozhu and After Effects, uh, and yeah, so let's get started. Uh, first, one thing you're going to want to need is some sort of moving cinematic. Uh, I recorded one on PC using Fraps, I'm going to be using this COD4 one here. And uh, yeah, I record it in 60 frames per second. Make sure you note down what the FPS is. And yeah, all the stuff like that. So, uh, let me just open up After Effects. It's normal. This sometimes takes sometimes takes a while. As you can see, CPU takes up a lot when it's opening. Especially while I'm recording, it's going to take even longer. So yeah, I'm doing this tutorial because a lot of you guys requested it. Uh, it's quite a nice effect, and I wouldn't really say it's overused at all. It's using a, a few things, but like not really enough for it to be overused. So yeah, I think it's open now. All right. So let's go to project movies. Just drag it in. Now you're gonna want to just make it as a new composition, and see from when how if you want to like change it at all, like the, di the length of it, you're gonna want to do that. You can do this bit in Sony Vegas, but yeah, uh, I prefer doing it in After Effects. So I'm just gonna change the area to how long I actually want it to be. Like mine isn't gonna be very long to tall, long at all for the purpose of like rendering in this tutorial and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do it like that. Whoops, like that. So basically, the text is going to be tracked to like there, and then it's just going to go through it. So, yeah. You're going to want to add this to the render queue. You're going to want to render two out, so add it to the render queue twice. Put one and make it PNG sequence. And for this one, you're going to want to make yourself a new folder. Uh, let me just make a new one. Because it's going to be creating lots of frames, so um, you don't want all the frames like in one place where you're going to need it. Like if you put it on your desktop, you're just gonna, it's just going to get filled up with pictures. So you're just going to want to put it in one folder. And this one is going to, you're going to have to render it just as lossless. Or and if you want to like make it smaller, do a compression, but I wouldn't recommend it. Alright, sorry about that one, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I was saying you're going to want to render it as lossless. And like I said, you could do a compression if you wanted. And this is just going to create one video file, so I uh, just put it anywhere. going to name mine 5 because it will just go to the sequence folder. And then, yeah, you just click render. I'm just going to pause it while it renders. So, Alright, it's now finished rendering. And the PNG sequence is always going to take longer than the uh, lossless file. So yeah, um, remember, make sure you have the frame rate that you rendered in and remember it. So yeah, now we're going to exit this and go into Boozhu. Should just have there. Boozhu doesn't normally take too long to load up. if it is going to load up for me alright so the first thing you're going to want to do go to your like folders or whatever and um, find where you saved the sequence uh, so yeah I saved it here and going to want to drag in the first frame and drag it into there and you have to change the frame rate or else it's going to screw up uh, I have mine as 60 and um, you, if you record on console it will normally either be like 59.94 or 29.97 then just click apply and click close and, and also sometimes with some versions of Boozhu this um, messes up you're going to want to go and edit sequence and change the frame rate again it doesn't mess up in mine, but I know people whose it has. 
Right, so the next thing you're going to want to do is track features, go on to advanced and put it up to the max. This is just going to track like all the little like kind of different parts on the video. It's probably going to take a while, so I'm going to pause it. Alright guys, mine's finished tracking the features and this should all come up like a lot of red dots. Sometimes it'll have yellow lines, sometimes it doesn't, mine does, and yeah. Uh the next thing you're gonna want to do is go to camera solve. You can tick that but I don't normally. Uh I'll just leave it unticked and just click start. This won't take as long as uh tracking features as you can see it's going pretty quick. Alright, now we're getting on to the, probably the most complicated part in the tutorial, so you have to like uh, listen quite well. So go to scene geometry, if you've done 3D motion tracking before then you'll probably know what to do, but if you haven't then you're going to have to you know, listen. So you're going to want to add coordinate from hint, change it to the Z axis and Z axis is like going away from you so like let's just choose that one and that one because it's coming away from you you're going to have to hold control to select them both and click collect, connect to selected now click on add coordinate from hint again choose one that's on the X axis and if you do maths at school which you probably should uh, you know the X axis goes up uh, so we're going to want to find one where it goes upwards. It'd be better if it's in the sim like a similar frame. But I can't really see many. So I'm going to choose that one and that one. Going to connect to selected. Then add another one. It's going to be the Y axis. Y axis goes left. I mean, no, it goes across. So. Um, let's just find one, that one, and that one. Connect that to selected. Add one last coordinate, make it the origin. It's got to be like around the center. I'll just choose that one. Connect to selected. I just want to keep on clicking that because sometimes it just won't work. So, yeah. I'm going to just quickly save my project file just there. Uh, so yeah, here is when we're going to export it. Oh wait, no, not yet. First, you have to hold control on a couple of frames that, where you want to put the text. So I'm going to put mine around this sort of area. So hold control and select all of these. Right click it. Right click just one of them and click flag for export. Right, now go to export camera solve. Change the export type to After Effects Maya. Tick export flag tracks only. And this is really important. Change the scale by scene to 500. Alright, guys, I had to pause it for a second there. Um, but yeah, find a place where you want to save it. I'll just save it in here. It's 5. Make sure all these settings are correct. Because if they're not, then it's really going to screw it up. So all the settings that I have here. And whenever you change that, those two are going to get unticked. So you're going to have to change it back. So just click save. Alright, um, I have to record the After Effects bit again. I did record it, but it didn't pick up the audio. So... I'm just gonna do it again. Uh, so yeah, open up After Effects. You have to um, find the Maya file and the AVI file that you rendered at the beginning. All right, double click the uh, composition that comes up when you bring in the Maya file and drag the AVI into the timeline. You see it's motion track to the ground, the points. Alright, now I'm just going to make some text saying tutorial. Probably just going to change the colour to just black just so you can see it well. Alright, 
now here's like this part you gotta do some like small little details that if you don't do it it'll like mess it up so you got to listen All right so choose a point it could be really anyone I'm just gonna choose that one because it looks best press P and it brings up the position now click on the position press control C then on the on the text or whatever you're motion tracking press P click on it and press control V so it copies the position but now you see the text is up there obviously we don't want that so uh, what fixes this is when you go onto 3d layer and obviously we don't want that either so you're just gonna have to like change the orientation don't know which one it is it's just like that And you'll see now that you've done that, it is properly motion tracked. Alright. But obviously, you have to move it to the place. So, as you can see, this is... You have to move it along the axis as if it were like 3D. Because it's kind of acting as if it's 3D. So you've got to move it with these little arrows that you get. And like I said at the beginning, I want to motion track it to around this area. But then, if I go like that, you see it isn't right at it. So you're going to have to just move it a little bit forward. And like if need be, change the size and all that stuff. And then you see that's, yeah, that's pretty nice. Motion tracked, goes through it. And you see, go up, still motion tracked goes through it and yeah that's pretty much what we were aiming for um that wraps up the tutorial uh hope you learned something i hope you learned how to motion track which is what i'm trying to teach you and yeah thanks for watching please give the video a like uh and yeah uh comment more suggestions for tutorials because i do like doing it and yeah thanks for watching